Welcome to part uh, two of a bike ride, a longer bike ride. Dutch bike blogger. If you missed part one, click in the card in the top right corner. And you will actually be able to watch part one. Currently the time. Seven minutes past ten in the morning of Sunday, June twelfth, twenty twenty two. Just left the Felinga building construction site. You have seen that, or you will be able to see that in part one. It's coming along uh, quite uh, nicely, I do have to say. Trying to get a weekly or two weeks update in there every time I visit this area. I will go there and have a look. Currently on the Zernikelaan. Zernike Campus Groningen. Big complex with all kinds of schools, study halls. And everything you need to educate, educate the people. We do have 35,000 students in the city of Groningen living there. And also many of them are foreign students from China and all over the world, South America. Also of course from Europe. But the main part of students are from our own country, the Netherlands. And many of them come from all directions, like in the south of the Netherlands, and they will actually stay in Groningen. They probably meet their girlfriend. They're gonna live there, then they, they think, well, it's night here, let's stay here. And that's only applaudable, of course. Because only studying here and then getting your information and your knowledge and go elsewhere and use it, that's not good. It should stay in the area, or at least in the Netherlands, I think. That's not always the case with the foreign students. They go here, study, and then leave and take the knowledge with them. Of course, it's good for other countries, but not the best for the Netherlands, but well. Who am I to judge about that? Oh, I just did. Um, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion, I think, so... If you think differently, it's okay! And it's really, really not busy here. Although there are two, three, four bikes here, parked here. Let's see. Let's go down this slope here. Many, well, two years ago, I think there was an accident here with a chopper. Not with a chopper, with a car and a scoop mobile, but the chopper was flown into. Look at the scoop mobile driver. There will be a cart in the top right corner about that. There. There. These are solar panels, by the way. They are turnable and they actually, like a propeller can, of a, how do you call this thing? You can put them together again and will be a flat. Surface in the Dutch we call it a wire.
It's getting quite warm already, by the way. The sun is quite strong. There's some clouds, but the sun is actually not behind the clouds, so it's getting nice and crispy already. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts, by the way. It was way too warm to wear a jacket and way too warm to wear long pants. almost deserted here of course the cars at this area probably office is open on Sunday You're on the road, not on the back end, because you get to take a turn to the left. This is the right turn. Small back road, not paved. You can see the grass growing in the middle of the center of the, the road. The tracks from cars going here. Not sure why you would want to go by car here, but... Wow! Crossing the road here. There's some runners here who bother each other. Just ringing a short ring off ring, a short, short ring at the bell to inform the runner that it's somebody going to overtake them. Well, they decide to walk on the other side of the road and end up in front of my bike. Not the ringing of the bell, because I had to move over, it was over to the right a good amount. Just an informal ring of the bike bell. Let's go through here. What's the time? What's the time, brother? 60 minutes past 10 already. Bird running like crazy. Not sure where it went. Oh, to my right in the branches, in the bushes, in the woods.
the sphere off to this parking lot. Not as much to see here, but although a bunch of wheels or wire or some other stuff here stored here in this area. Two cars at the parking lot, so people must be at work. So I think they would. Otherwise, you wouldn't let your car out here in the middle of effing nowhere overnight. Jogging club for in the morning. Well, good for you. I'm not much of a runner. I'd rather go on bike. Nice area. Road. Greens. Grass to the side. And all trees. And there's a car. Hmm. Didn't expect that to be here, but it's an access road to some homes, so it's quite logical there are cars here. And we ended up at the Padde Poelsterbrug, at least the remains of it. And because what? The bench here is not occupied by people. It's free for me. I'm all alone here. Padde Poelsterbrug terug. Real nice and all. Pan around, well, I came from that direction, the street to the right. In the distance, a bridge, it's a railway bridge, the Walfriedersbrug. Then there used to be a bridge here, the Paderpolsterbrug. The house on the other side of the road is not going to be able to go here anymore, at least not over the bridge. There's a ship coming, I think. I just placed my bike over there by the benches. Going to sit there and start part three after this. Let's first show you around a bit. Can't go on the bridge area, but I can stand here on the other side of the road or the channel from Starkenborg channel. You can see some rusted steel construction. There used to be the bridgeheads just like this, but it's gone now. There's one bike rider with two people in front of the, the cart wishing by. I did not lock my bike by the way, I didn't think it was necessary. Is the ship coming towards us? It looks like it's going away from us. It's definitely not going very fast. On the other side of the water there are two bikes coming towards me on the other side of the, the waterway, the Tjardaweg or the Parapolseweg, I'm not sure what it's called. Nice home on the other side, really quiet area. Let's go for part uh, 3. And before we start part 3, the ship was coming towards us. Calimero. Looked like a gas tanker or something, or at least some fluids. Nice ship, 
German flag on the back. So it's supposed to be a German ship. Start part three.